Hi everyone, I have a DIY project. This is um, how to do these beautiful, I can't even show you because I'm not still learning. Little mannequin. And I have this one I made also. So I'm just going to show you how to mold these two baskets I got from the dollar store. You can see the first thing I'm going to do is remove these, these tags right here, these little hooks right here. For that I have like a Oh, have scissors. So what I do is, uh, I move this out. There we go. You know, you can use tools. Um, There you go, should have done it before. Second thing you're gonna do, you're gonna mold, you wanna waste. So you start to move it in. Oh, I got garden gloves. So you start to give it like a waist. You, give it like a little, you know, you can take scissors, uh, pliers, it makes it easier, you know. You can move these in with your hands. But like I said, it's all according to how you feel like you can do. I'm more of an on hands person. So want to waste. Okay, how you start. Like I said, you can use tools, makes it easier for you. I'm all on hand person. Next thing you're going to do, you want to cleavage. So you're going to center it. No, this is the center. So we start pushing down a little bit. I just gotta play with it and make sure that it does. Let's see if I This is where you're going to stretch this part out. It's going to be kind of hard time to bend this part. I'm going to bring it in like this. Squeeze it in. Start bending it. Oh, this is such a hard time. Okay. See how it's taking shape? This is a little struggle. I don't know why it's giving me such a hard time right now. Because I'm trying to do a video. So wants to show up. It takes a while when you first start doing it to get it right. You the press part, you just put your fist in it. Let's stretch that part. You see, starting to get warm. There you go. Okay. 
You can use tools, whatever makes it easier for you. Um, again, I like using my hands. See? So you can see. Squeeze my keep squeezing the, the wannabe waist. Working process. You have to keep molding, making the press. It's about take about 15 minutes just to make sure. Our next step is halfway. We're gonna cut the rim off. Well, not cut it off. Well, cut it off and just leave it hanging from these pieces right here because you want to make the, the top piece too. So. What I do is with these utility scissors, I'm trying to cut from right all the way on top. Make sure you have your, your gloves on. Because this will cut you. Yeah, sorry. So I'm going to lift it. The point of having these gloves on. Just lift it. There you go. And again, mold it again. Because these are real thin. So once you move up, you move something or you cut something, and you got to mold it back together. So you just squish the hand. Like What I do is open it up in the back. You see, it's this opening. This is where the tricky part comes in. But this is where common sense comes in. So what I do to make it a little easier, I cut it in the middle, bring it all the way, and then go up. Again, I go all the way to the middle, makes it easier for me, and then I'll cut it like that. Again, in the middle, and just cut it off. You start from here and make a longer, a wider back. You know, but center it in the middle makes it easier. It made it easier for me anyway. In the middle. No. Actually, let me cut from like this. See what I'm doing? Okay, and then we go back. Make sure we. There you go. Make sure they're even at the side when you start cutting them. You see? That's a must. Okay, let me make sure this is even. These scissors are for everything. I paid a pretty penny for these. There you go. Again, what I did was I started it from here. From here. Lined it up. And then cut it from here. And you see these little pieces right here? They're sticking up. What we're going to do is random. There you go. And here you go. And again, because you're cutting it and you're moving it all around, make sure you mold it again. Mm -hmm. The press is sticking out. I 
Let's see it too. Here we go. The table's white. This is white, so. It's okay. You see how we finish? That's how quick. Make sure you cut these little pieces off, because they, they get to your fingers. That's it. Oh, that'll do it. Okay, guys? So, next step. Number two baskets. Here you go. On board on cable. Cable ties. What you do is, you line it up. Make sure you do that measure correctly because we want these to stay. Here we go. Once you do them, they're really quick. So once you do them on a regular, it's very easy to do. Actually, this is my third one, Dylan. There you go. That's one. These are good, like, for table setups. Main table setup. No. Not wrong. Gotta make sure these are correct when you put them in. I don't know what gave me problems. Was it molding or just putting these ties in? I think it was the ties that gave me more of a headache. There you go. You can decorate them however you want. Two took them down. This one I'm kind of making like a wedding dress. Okay. And one more, just on the other side. Again, I don't know which is the toughest part. Just cutting it up, putting these ties on. Okay, last one. Okay, here you have it. Again, these are the centerpieces. You can do centerpieces for the table, for the main table. Now, you see, everyone can do this. The hardest part comes now, which is to decor it. You have to have, or you have to use your own, you know, style to it. You know, but here you have it. Now, time to decor. You can bring it down more. You can bring it up more. Like I said, your tools. I use my hands. And don't forget your gloves, utility scissors, because this is the only thing I use. We use other things, but I use this because I'm more of an on-hands person. I feel like I can get a better grip when I'm using my hands. Okay, so let me show you real quick what it looks like with the decor on. Real quick, 15 minutes. One second. Thank you.